Welcome to 3D Printer Anatomy. I'm your host, Alec, and today we're going to talk about the motion systems involved in 3D printing. On the surface, 3D printing sounds simple. There's three dimensions, X, Y, and Z, and a print head moves around within that space. But in actuality, there's many different ways a printer can actually do that. From three motors controlling three axes, to controlling two or one for each. There are many different ways a printer can actually work. So let's take a look at these. The simplest and most common form of motion configuration is called Cartesian, where there's an X, Y, and Z motor that each controls their respective axis. And then there's subsets, like Cartesian XY, where the print head moves on X and Y, like a BCN 3D printer, Zortrax, or Ultimaker. Or there's Cartesian XZ, like Prusa, Lulzbot, and Pulse, where the print head moves on X, left and right, up and down on Z, and then the bed moves on Y. However, there is a subset of Cartesian called HBOT or Core XY, and these work where both motors on the front control both X and Y. If they move in the same direction, so both clockwise or counterclockwise, it'll move on X. If they spin in opposite directions, it'll move on Y. And if only one spins, it'll move diagonally. And this can achieve some high rates of speed, but it does need calibration. And then there's Delta, which is a unique configuration in which the bed remains stationary and the print head moves on all three axes. And it does this by using three motors to control three arms. Typically, Delta printers are about twice as tall as their build volume because of those arms. In order to move around, it needs more space. But to make it taller, all it needs is longer frames, longer belts, and it's good to go. And Delta printers are typically faster than Cartesian printers without much calibration either. There's a not often seen motion system called Polar, where the print head moves on Z and the bed moves around left and right on X, but instead of moving forward and back on Y, it spins. Now it's kind of weird, and you don't see it that often, but it does exist. And that about describes the various forms of FDM 3D printing. But of course, there's always something new and experimental that someone else is working on. I hope you enjoyed learning about your 3D printer, or how other 3D printers work, and don't forget to stay tuned for more episodes of 3D Printer Anatomy. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers, thanks for watching. That was a pretty cool video. These are pretty cool videos too. And when you're done watching those, you should go to our channel and subscribe so you can see all the videos that we do. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com for everything you need for 3D printing.